Okay. You don't get to see the model table from this side very often, do you? So what's happening this morning? Well, when I bought this uh, surveillance system from Lorex, uh, it came with two cameras like this. The one I put up the day before yesterday. The other one I'm going to try to get up today. I don't know if I'll get the wires hooked up or not. The other one was pretty easy. My son had already run the wire to it. All I had to do was just get it in place and uh, hook the wire up. So this, this one may not be up and running tonight, but I'm going to see if I can get it mounted on the back of the house. And uh, as, I, as I indicated before, th this is actually the one that I, I really want to have up because it's going to cover what we call the berm. Um, and there's, there's uh, wildlife goes through there. Uh, I've actually seen deer back there. Uh, there's uh, lots of rabbits. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can get this off of the model table. I, I mounted it on the on the uh, piece of studding here because I, I wanted to try it out, see, see how good it was. And uh, you know, I, I was uh, at first I was a little bit disappointed and then I finally got into the, uh, got used to the fact that there was a bit of latency from the time you would uh, click the mouse on something to the time it actually did something and there was a bit of a delay. Uh, but after a while you got used to how it worked and uh, I'm basically satisfied with it. Now, um, if any of, you, any of you are thinking of getting a system uh, like this, they have, Lorex just came out with, uh, this guy's uh, older brother or younger brother, however you want to put it, bigger brother. This one is not 4K. It's pretty sharp, but it's not 4K. They've come out with a 4K that has better optics. Now, unfortunately, I probably would not have bought it anyway because it's literally three times the cost that this was. So, uh, I probably wouldn't have got it. Now, I'm starting to, to ramble on and on. Eh? And it's already, uh, you can see the clock away over there on the, on the uh, shelf. It's uh, 12 minutes after 10 this morning and uh, I just got my ladder out the door. I want to see if I can at least get the ladder to the backyard. Uh, <laughs> I got lots of neighbors that'll help me get it back if I can't get it back. Uh, anyway, let, let's get going here and, and see if we can't get this up. Uh, I'm not going to video the process. I just wanted a, just sort of a, an opening scene here that I could clunk my coffee down because that's the way we've been doing it now for what, how many months? Yeah, I'm going to just get going here and uh, I'm pretty sure all being well, if I don't fall off the ladder, uh, we'll be doing something with our railing. We'll at least be getting the Windex on it and getting the paint off. So, uh, here we go. Now, I think I said something like this uh, when I did this the last time and uh, I shouldn't be going up the ladder. Well, it was a little harder this time, and it, it took quite a bit out of me, actually, uh, not only physically, but mentally. I was uh, uh, so concerned about the fact that I had to go up the ladder, and should I be doing it or not, or should I wait and get my son to help me, or what, you know, that I'd forgotten that today was grocery day, and my, my neighbor uh, had gone and got the groceries, and he was actually getting the groceries while I was hauling the ladder out into the backyard, and uh, and I never noticed. You know, that's kind of scary. I never noticed that he was getting the groceries, and my groceries, or some of them, were in his trunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yesterday I uh, uploaded the video late, and uh, uh, today I forgot about the groceries. What's it going to be tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Now the good news is, while I was messing around with the ladder and stuff, the solder paste came. Yeah. Well, you would not believe how little I've got done here at the model table. Yeah. Um... I did get the, the camera mounted. I, I did not get the uh, K 
cable run into the house. I'm going to get help with that. All right, let's have a look and see what this uh, looks like in here. At first, I thought there was nothing in the package. Okay, that's kind of like the picture. There's not very much in there, but then for what we're doing, we don't need very much. I don't know if we'll have a chance to try this out today or not. Probably not. I got a feeling this is going to be a very, very short video. Um, okay. Our, our small railing is still in the Windex from yesterday. And the big, the big railing, we'll get the Windex off of it. We'll get a dish from the kitchen. Okay, we got ourselves a dish from the kitchen and about probably, I'm guessing, uh, two-thirds of an inch, no, about a third of an inch of Windex. And we'll just drop this in and we'll do the time-lapse thing. Well, I wasn't watching my watch, but uh, probably because I don't have it on, but I'm guessing about three minutes or so has passed here. No, it's just amazing how the Windex will cut that Tamiya XF paint. Um, I do believe it probably has something to do with the fact that there's ammonia in Windex. I'm, I'm just guessing. I, I have no idea. Anyway. Okay, I've done the ultrasonic cleaner thing and I've rinsed it off in isopropyl. And we'll do the little one first. Or maybe we should say we will try to do the little one first. Well, that went well. Okay, I'm wondering if maybe it wouldn't be a good idea if I was to somehow rig up the holder downer here. Nope. And it was positioned so perfectly too. See, the, my thinking is that if I can put just a little bit of CA, maybe just across the, the bottom front rail there, then I could bend the, the rest into shape and, you know, hold it down. But um, I'm wondering if maybe this would be a, a good, a good uh, time for our mini applicator that, was, that we made out of wire. UK Jason was saying that he he uses a copper wire and he's never had it burn off, or at least I think he said that. And uh, New York Jason was saying he's, he uses a wire and it works just fine. Why don't I see if I can just touch a little bit of thin along that bottom rail there and, uh, and not have it you know, the wire stick to the rail. That's that's my problem. The wire will stick to it if I don't use the holder downer. Okay, I was going to apply some on there, but it, it appears that this is not quite straight. I like to get the uh, that front rail just right up against the edge. There, like that. It's Sorry to be getting my fingers in your way, but that's the way it goes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Mind you, yesterday when we were using uh, Andy's photo etch bender, it was really easy to see that I, I didn't have the stuff on there straight. Now, now I've got a little bit on the on the wire.
Oh. See, can I push it back or? No, it's 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 glued itself there. Well, you know that's not that bad. That's not that bad. It it could be worse. Let's just uh, take and put some on this corner. Okay. Now I'm not going to tell you how today is Friday, and I'm going to be getting a coffee visitor in about exactly an hour from now. And I'm not going to apologize for working with the ladder all morning and messing around and getting myself tired. Um, so we, we won't we won't do that. But I will have to tell you that I'm going to have to uh, cut today's video off. I just won't tell you why. Okay. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And if I come at it this evening again, and I think I might, I'll video what I do.